happy today is the 13th of march uh, 2023 remember guys to like share comment and follow so guys uh, government workers reportedly rejected a 50 us dollar salary increment offered by their employer during the national joint negotiation council njnc negotiations held last week friday government had offered a 20 us dollar increment from 200 US dollar. The latest meeting saw another increment that will see the lowest paid worker earning 250 US dollar. Representatives of the civil servants in the Friday salary negotiations, the Zimbabwe Congress of Public Sector Trade Unions, did not disclose the figures tabled by government during the negotiations, but only said there were issues that they did not agree with. Government and ZC PSTU meet under the NJNC for the second time this year on Friday for salary talks with civil servants demanding a salary increment that will see the, le- the least paid worker earning 840 US dollar. Currently, teachers, for example, are earning about 36,000 Zimbabwe dollar and 120 US dollar component plus a 75 US dollar COVID 19 allowance. Government also offered a 100% increment on the teachers' local current earnings up from a 50% hike provided last week. The government made several concessions on our demands, but there are outstanding issues. As a workers' team of negotiators, we requested the government team of negotiators to engage their principals and make further consultations about the outstanding demands. The meeting is agreed to meet on March 16, 2023 for feedback from the government side. ZC PSU said in a statement on Friday. Public Service Ministry Secretary Simon Masanga said the ongoing negotiations with ZSPSTU were fruitful. We had a very fruitful meeting yesterday, which was Friday, and we finalized the meeting next week, Masanga said. Negotiations are in a process. It is not an event that can be finalized in one day. The most important thing is that we have been able to meet the workers' initiatives. The meetings are very cordial and we are reaching a common ground that's how negotiations are you don't walk into a negotiation room and come out with a result as for the figures i won't review until we sign an agreement the negotiation process is about giving a stake you concede and you also remain firm on certain issues it is not about winning but a mutual process to reach a consensus soon zimbabwe teachers association secretary general godwill Tanderera said the government had agreed to pay the salary increment starting next month, but the workers rejected the offer. Government reviewed our gross salaries in local currency from 50% to 100% and reconfigured the COVID-19 allowance and the cushion allowance to the civil service allowance, which moved from the previous offered 220 US dollar to 250 US dollar. Additionally. There is a teaching allowance of 80 US dollar paid in local currency. This is inflation adjusted, but we have not yet agreed on any of these figures. The effective date was given as 1 April 2023, which we rejected and demanded that it be backdated to January. Tajira said, Mino Amogument Rural Teachers Union President Obed Masarure said a strike was looming. Our power is not in the boardroom, but in collective action by workers. So we are mobilizing workers for a massive strike to resume on March 13, 2023, if the government fails to address our demands, he said. So guys, that's the latest here. And you saw our remainder young guys have 50 US dollar increment to all the civil servants. But Magata Iowa is Shoma. They are demanding that uh, the least paid uh, civil servant should earn 870 US dollars. And guys, so we're gonna be keeping you guys up to date with the latest here. Remember, I am on negotiations. Uh, you didn't get the back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, practical a final decision. We will keep you guys up to date with the latest here. Remember to like, share, comment, and follow, and uh, turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. This is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Bless up.